What's up, Money Maker Tribe? I think we're live, okay? Uh, we had some technical difficulties there. It wasn't uh, streaming, and uh, there's some problems with the internet here, so I wasn't sure if I was streaming or not. So let me know, guys, in the chat. Do you see me? Is everything okay? Let me know. Uh, so if uh, I think we're we're okay. So currently we're at. Uh, let me just uh, take a a sip of my uh, juice here. I have some pomegranate juice. One second. We're okay guys, you have uh, nobody's uh, written in the comment section, so I don't know if we're okay or not. Uh, I'm thinking that we're okay, but uh, so you know what, I'll just start and uh, <laughs> whatever happens, happens. Um, so AMC guys, what's going on today? Well, we talked about before a pre-market open, let's go to the one minute chart. That nine was the eight point eight nine was going to be a really really big uh, resistance, right, guys? Two is not receiving. There's still some difficulties. I'm having some issues, guys, uh, with the internet. Hopefully next week we'll be done with the lockdown and I can go back home. At home I have a one gigabyte uh, internet and here it's super slow. I'm sitting inside the uh, bomb shelter room. So the bomb shelter room, the Wi-Fi is really, really slow. And this is the current situation that I have. So I'm sorry if it's kind of uh, uh, <laughs> stuck because I'm getting these errors from YouTube that we're having some issues. Uh, so hopefully you guys can see everything uh, okay, right? So AMC guys, what's up, Funny Maker Tribe? Okay, let's start. <laughs> so I talked about in pre uh, SNDL holders. Shout out to you guys. I will talk a little bit about SNDL. I know the stream is about AMC, but uh, we will um, sneak in some SNDL as well because it's had an amazing day, and I want to talk to about it. Because I know a lot of uh, the tribe is the SNDL holding SNDL, and uh, and we're on an amazing, amazing run with SNDL. But I want to talk about uh, AMC first. So, AMC, we talked about in pre-market, guys. That uh, that I said that we saw here. If I zoom out, we saw here yesterday that uh, the 889 area, this bluish uh, or light blue Fibonacci, was acting as a resistance, right? And what I said in the video before the market opened that I could see this acting as a, a resistance again and if it was able to break it then I could see the stock going up uh, a lot and we saw as soon as the market opened it hit right at that area and fell right we had a drop uh, hola he said and uh, and and then it kind of consolidated. Uh, I was getting it when the video dropped. I was getting a lot of uh, slack about uh, <laughs> about the fact that it was only up seven percent. And I said it was gonna pop. And I said this. And I said that. But it it continued to go. And I had a um, a comment for that person that seven percent is fine. I mean, people are getting used to AMC going up a hundred, two hundred percent. And when it goes up one hundred and two hundred percent. Uh, it can go down 50% the, the same way. So um, it's better that the stock will start climbing, you know, 15%, 20%, 30%, slowly, 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 and then the drop won't be as violent as it was uh, that we saw yesterday. Let me know in the chat, guys, if you have uh, AMC shares. Shout out. If you're holding, uh, are you having diamond hands or are you going to sell out at a certain point? Are you uh, in it for just the money? Or are you part of the movement? I wanted to show you guys, by the way, um, it's in 15 minutes, but there's this website called Save AMC. And they're talking about let's uh, buy at least one share, 3 p.m. today, buy and hold, and there's 15 minutes. So they're talking about in 15 minutes uh, to buy. I think it's like out of sync a little bit because it, 3 p.m. would be uh, in eight minutes, <laughs> right? 
uh, maybe got out of sync a little bit because uh, my internet wasn't that great. But it says uh, if we all buy one uh, share, then uh, then we'll see. So we're going to see as soon as we hit in seven minutes, is there going to be a big pop? Yeah, now it's updated. It says six minutes. Uh, is there going to be a big pop? Are we going to see something uh, big happen in eight minutes? Or are we going to have... Um, you know, uh, not a, not many people doing this and uh, not joining the movement. Uh, I, I talked about this a little bit in, in the other videos. I feel what happens is that people are um, uh, going to too many stocks, right? So they were talking about in the beginning, it was just GME. And then we ha added AMC and then BlackBerry and Nokia and Naked and SNDL and all these stocks and stocks and stocks that people started talking about. And uh, I think I think what happened is, thank you, Lisel, for yeah, 11,000 uh, uh, subscribers, guys. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think we'd get to so many subscribers so fast. Uh, if, if you guys don't know, I, uh, I was released from my position. The whole department that I was working at as a software engineer uh, was closed. And, uh, well, not the whole, but they left like few people just for the transition. And, uh, and I, I said to myself, okay, I can have now a six months unemployment now because of the, co uh, the, co the pandemic, you can get six months here unemployment. And I'll, I'll continue the YouTube. And if I hit uh, 15,000 subscribers uh, by April, then I won't uh, then I won't look for a, a new job, right? And I'll try to do that for a few months. I have uh, reserves that I can, uh, uh, um, you know, I have three kids, I have a house to pay, you know, rent and stuff like that. So I'll see uh, until April. And we already hit 11,000 subscribers. So I guess by April we'll hit uh, 15,000. I don't know. Uh, probably this month, I guess. No, <laughs> by the by the by the way we're growing, it could be. Yeah, it's uh, it's been crazy. Uh, uh, Dave, Dave is your name, I think. Yeah. So I had a few days of a thousand subscriber growth, and and the past few days was like 900, 700. So probably I don't know. Next week, if we keep this going, we'll hit 15,000. So. Uh, amazing and, uh, and and you know this is my new life uh, being a youtuber i didn't i didn't think about this if i think back a few years uh, that i would be a youtuber uh, i would probably laugh at you but uh, if someone said that to me but this is uh, where i'm at so it's it's great and um, the only thing is that i had to switch up my hours so i'm up during the night here and sleeping during the day uh, but when lockdown goes um, when lockdown finishes here, anyway, the kids will be in school, so uh, it's it works out uh, great. Um, hello, everybody. So um, let's get back to AMC. So what I said is uh, that what I what we saw here it happened beautifully, um, right at the Fibonacci, guys. You can see here. I um, there was this candle here right at eight eighty nine. Right, and if you don't know, we opened up. Uh, I opened up a Patreon and a Discord chat, and you can see here uh, we have uh, everything on the Discord. If you're interested in uh, uh, coming to the Discord, right, and you can see here I updated everybody in the Discord right here. AMC just broke the 889 area. Watch the jump. Volume is picking up too. And this was exactly at 889 and I was waiting for the confirmation and as soon as we had here that it acted as a support, it jumped all the way up to 974. So if this was, uh, if you were day trading, right, uh, this would be your confirmation, this uh, pull, this uh, change of direction, and then you could have made the trade from here to here. But this is for day trading. We don't do day trading anymore <laughs> unless uh, it's just something specific. And, and anyway, a lot of uh, you guys know that to be a day trader, you need an account uh, with at least $25,000. So you have the PTT rule in the U.S., uh, in Israel, it's not really happening, but um, uh, I have a question here in the in the in the chat about the number of shorted uh, stocks. So I'm I'm like you. I keep looking for the number, and I keep getting different numbers. And I don't know if it's uh, you know if it's something. Um, 
uh, I don't know. Is it something that, that the big banks are trying to fool us? Are they trying to get us mixed up? Uh, because it's, like I say in the videos, it could be that um, we don't know who's behind these websites, right? It could be some hedge fund open a website really quickly or they own the website and we don't know. Maybe like Goldman Sachs owns this website. We don't know. And, uh, and it could be that they're cooking the numbers. We don't know what's going behind. It's really easy to open a website and put whatever you want. Um, so it's really hard for us to know what the numbers are and you saw I've been showing you guys a few websites in the videos and one website says this uh, short number and another website says this short number so it's uh, it's very uh, hard to get an exact number uh, we just have I guess you have to take one website and just run with it and see oh we're getting to the 889 area guys let's see if it acts as support hello Daniel from Denmark I wonder how many countries uh, we have now in the tribe uh, maybe I should do a, like a, a poll or something and then count all the, the countries. That will be really cool. I know from the statistics that a lot of you guys are from the US, like 60% or something of the subscribers are from the US. But I wonder, like it doesn't show me Denmark because if it's just only like four or five people, it won't show. So it's, uh, it's interesting to know how many, like what is the country count? So thank you all guys again for jumping on the, the live stream and for supporting and um, and yeah so uh, yeah so currently I'm holding uh, S the AMC uh, I'm down a little bit I cost based down yesterday uh, ah uh, uh, so from Belgium uh, we have some people here and I know from Finland we have people from Israel from Germany from Canada Sweden wow amazing guys I know from South Korea we have some people. I don't know if they're on the stream now because I think it's like in the middle of the night now. It's morning or something in South Korea. Ecuador, Slovenia, wow. We'll get to SNDL Rob uh, too. I said in the beginning when we opened up that we would get to SNDL. Finland, yes, Austria, amazing. Uh, I haven't been to all of these countries yet. I've been to Austria, I've been to uh, Canada. I've been to, never been to Ecuador, uh, USA I've been, uh, Sweden no, Germany yes, I was in Berlin last year, had a great time, New Jersey, I used to live in New Jersey uh, for a few years when I was a kid, uh, just uh, so you know that about me. <laughs> so uh, it's very interesting guys, we're at a critical area now at the 889 area and we have to see what's going to happen because this is the hour that it said that people were going to be buying into AMC. So let's see what's going to happen, guys. This is very important. Uh, we can continue to talk just a few minutes because I want to see you see this growing candle candle. Let's see what's happening. If there's going to be a huge volume and huge candle here because people were talking about, yes, 3 p.m., 3 p.m., yes. Um, so it's Mexico, Turkey. Amazing, amazing, guys. Wow. Yes, 5 a.m. in Korea, still here. That's what I thought. Nah, that's what I thought. I was in Japan. Uh, Japan is a little bit uh, further east than Korea, uh, a little bit. It's like five hour flight, <laughs> a little bit, right? If I'm not mistaken, more than five hours. I think like seven hours from Korea to Japan. Uh, and I know that uh, Japan is seven hours forward. I was like a month and a half in Japan last year before uh, this whole uh, mess in the world. Uh, Cool, cool guys, amazing, wow. Okay, so uh, it looks like the area is holding, right? We can see here we're holding and the buying is happening, but I don't see a huge volume. So I don't know if it's uh, uh, just that the, eight, the 3 p.m. is not uh, enough uh, publicized or what's going on, but currently from the, from the graph here, the volume is kind of low, uh, but it's okay because we're recovering a bit. We're still up 14% and uh, it's amazing. Yes, once more. I don't have any more money. I don't. I don't have any more cash. I'm sorry. I would have. I would buy more, uh, but I don't have more. So whoever has some cash and wants to buy an AMC, now is the time. Or you can join the Patreon. Either that, or this, or that. <laughs> Let's uh, throw up the Patreon uh, real quick, um, just because uh, uh, I need to talk to you guys about it. <laughs> That's the chat. Let me find it. Where did I put it? Ah, here. Okay. So we have the Patreon, guys. And just quickly about it. Don't don't uh, fall off, okay? 
<laughs> so we have here uh, if you want and you don't have to uh, this guys it's not uh, you know you don't have to join the patreon you can continue uh, to uh, to just watch the videos if you want you can do whatever I mean I uh, I'm not expecting anything uh, and um, it's just for love for me if love for the making money if you want to join the discord and you know there's a lot of potential there um i'm, I'm updating live on every trade that i do and uh also about the uh the penny stock challenge i'll be updating that also live for the group um so um so if you're interested and we have here if you just want to support let's say you don't want the discord and you have no time for discord and it's uh, it's something that you don't want but you still want to uh, uh <laughs> you don't want to uh, join the discord you want to support my hat uh, collection i only have this one nice hat that i got last year in new york city uh when i was at my grandma's funeral funeral so it, it came out good that i at least i got this hat and i saw a uh, harry potter uh, show there that was like the bright side of the fact that she passed away but <laughs> um so uh, you can uh, just it's five dollars and uh if you want and uh you know maybe i can get a stand also <laughs> for my microphone <laughs> And if you want to join the Discord, so you have here the $10 option and we have here the $25 option for the VIP and you get the once a month uh, live stream uh, with me. So uh, that's that's what we got and that's it. I'm not going to talk about it for the next uh, uh, bit, right? So let's get back to the what we're here for. So you can see here that the area is uh, been... Uh, <laughs> been held here i'm laughing because i'm looking at the comments i should be talking to you guys <laughs> but it's hard for me not to look at what you guys are writing so i have to um and you guys are funny you guys are funny the tribe is very funny guys i think it's i'm rubbing off you guys with my dad jokes i have i have three kids so i'm allowed to tell dad jokes my wife only lets me tell one a day so this is so if i uh um if I if I tell more than one a day, you have to write to her and tell her that I'm telling more than one a day. Uh, yeah, so SSR, we're going to talk about that. Um, I talked about this in the video this morning about the SSR rule. And because uh, today we had a, a you know, green day, well, for now, we have another f uh, 55 minutes, but tomorrow they'll be able to short again. So uh, I, you need to be careful, guys, because tomorrow uh, could be a, a, a red day. And I know a lot of you guys are newer traders and I talk about this a lot in my videos because this is something that when I started this channel, I said that I would talk about it a lot uh, just because um, I know how I felt during uh, my first years. And I know that my father was a big help for me uh, with all his experience and he was telling me things and I was saying, ah, no, I know better. I know what to do. I am, I'm an expert already, right? I've been trading already for two years or something like that. And he kept telling me things and kept telling me things and uh, I, I've been implementing them and trying to get better and better and better at it. And I, I just want to help, uh, uh, you know, spread the word so you guys can make a lot of money too. Um, so who Whoever's part of the tribe will make money and whoever's not will not <laughs> someone has to lose money see that's that's part of the the stock market that's why uh, we can't always make money because someone has to lose money so our goal is to make money uh, more times than we lose money and at the end of the year have uh, a higher return than uh, then the S and P 500. That's that's the small goal, right? Because if you beat the market, then you're doing good, right? So let's say the market did 30% uh, in 2021 this year, and you do 40 or 50%. So you did a good job, right? It's not an amazing job because you'll see on uh, YouTube and you'll see on uh, uh, Reddit and Facebook that people are making uh, $5,000, $10,000 at one day trading options, trading forex, trading this, trading that. And yes, it could be on that day that that's what they made, but the next day it could be that they lose $25,000 and they don't put that on Reddit. So uh, FOMO is a, a big thing, and guys, and you need to, um, yes, you need to, uh, 
to <laughs> relax, look at yourself and try not to look at other people, try not to look at what I'm doing, try not to look at uh, me. Like if, if you're looking at the uh, money maker, the money maker challenge, at the penny stock challenge and you say, whoa, I mean, Avi just went from five to 30 and so fast, what's going on? I need to go from five to 32. No, this is, it happened uh, and it was an amazing thing that happened so fast that we got to that number. I think we're around 30, uh, uh, <laughs> 30 this uh, today, something like that, I think. And, um, and it, it will continue to go up, I hope, but there'll be some down days. And like this week, we had a down week last week, right? We went down like three or $4,000. And if you think about it, three or $4,000 is a lot, right? Uh, uh, for for uh, uh, average American or average person around the world, uh, if your portfolio goes down three four thousand dollars, it's a lot of money, right? This could be maybe your monthly wages in some parts of the world, or even less. I know I was talking. I have people that I was working with in Belarus, and uh, their situation is uh, not great, and they make like I think the average salary in the country is five hundred dollars. So just to, uh, you know, that your portfolio goes down in, in uh, one week, $3,000, if you think about it, it's a lot. I mean, that's like, like six months uh, wages for someone in Belarus. Um, so, so, so we have to take everything in perspective. Uh, sometimes we get a little bit caught up in everything in life and, and the gains and, and the Lamborghini. <laughs> But like I said in a different video, uh, not on the live stream, I'll probably never get a Lamborghini, uh, but maybe uh, a nice um, Kia Sportage, maybe, or a Tesla. I don't know. <laughs> we now have Tesla in Israel, so maybe I'll get a Tesla. Uh, let me look at the comments and see what you guys are talking about, because I haven't looked. Uh... Yes, this is what why I understand. So someone asked here about the SSR. And uh, from my understanding, what I read and from what I'm seeing in the action, um, that if uh, we have here um, uh, a down day of more than 10% tomorrow, then the next day they can short again. So it's going to be up and down and up and down and up and down. And we should take advantage of this, I guess, uh, either with maybe options or if you guys know how to trade options or because don't don't be doing don't be trading options unless you know what you're doing you know all the greeks and you know what's happening uh, it could be very dangerous especially uh, with the high implied volatility on these options it, you could uh, be in the money and the stock could, could, could go up and you could still lose money so you have to watch out for that guys um, but if you can day trade or something like that or overnight trade and sell the next day but it's not a hundred percent we don't know what's gonna happen uh, it's not for sure that the that the stock will go up and down and up and down like this this is just what's happened the past few days and we saw today when they can short it uh, because of the rule then it went up uh, 13 14 percent and also the other ones GME and all, all, all the other ones um, were were going up today right also GME and uh, and the other ones, as it, it went down a little bit. I see it's only 6% up, but it was up a little bit more. Let's go to SNDL a little bit, uh, you know, change it up a little bit because I know that you guys um, ask for SNDL. Um, we can see here that it's up 18% again. Uh, it's really, really amazing, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, and you don't know, I've been talking about SNDL uh, for a long time, <laughs> for, for a long time for my channel, from almost the beginning, uh, from here, when we had this, uh, this run up to almost $1, uh, I got interested in it and I bought in at that point in time. And then it just went down, went down, went down, and I was down like um, 30 or 40 percent. And... Um, this is a thinkorswim guys someone asked what's the what's what am what program am i using to talk to look at these uh, at these graphs so this is thinkorswim it's from td ameritrade and it's uh they got bought out by schwab so i know in uh in the us you can use it i think it's someone from netherlands by your van dyke right from your last name and i think you said before you're from the netherlands so i don't know if in the netherlands you can uh you can use TD Ameritrade, but uh, this is uh, I use TD Ameritrade uh, at Thinkorswim 
for my graphs, for my options, for everything. It's really, really uh, uh, easy to use. Um, so uh, SNDL, uh, if you told me a week ago that we'd be at $1.22, I would laugh at you guys, right? <laughs> if you remember, I was kind of getting pessimistic about it just because of this rundown here. And then the whole hype started and, uh, and we just had this amazing climb. Yes, so someone uh, reminded me about the compliance. So what happened yesterday, and it was uh, it, it worked out good for them, right? Yesterday, uh, they had a they did the stock offering for seventy five million at one dollar, and this was very smart from the, by them because uh, because uh, what happened is uh, if they they have uh, to comply with the Nasdaq, they have to be over one dollar for a specific amount of time. Uh, until June, they have to have 10 consecutive days that the stock price will be over $1. And in the past month or so, it hasn't been uh, in that area, right? And then we had the day that we jumped over $1, but then the day after when we had all the Robin Hood uh, fiasco, it dropped under $1. And then on Monday, it went over $1 again. And yesterday they did the offering, but it finished over $1. So they were really lucky that they did the offering at $1 and was able to uh, f uh, go over $1. And today we're over $1 again. So it's now three days. So um, if we have now consecutive 10 days, so that means next week and the week after, because it's trading days, right? So we have five trading days a week. So if next week, all week long, we'll be over $1 and then we'll have eight and then we'll need another two. So, uh, yeah, so th this is day three, I think, because this was one, day one, day two, day three. Um, so, so uh, that's, uh, that's the situation on SNDL. It looks amazing. If we look at the technical indicators, it looks amazing. The, uh, the blue is over the yellow, the red is over the purple. Maybe I'll make a video about SNDL later and we'll talk a little bit more in depth. Uh, but uh, for now, let's uh, move on. Uh, Someone w wanted to see CTRM, so let's just do that quick. CTRM is another uh, favorite of the stock, of the stock, of the channel, and it's kind of been consolidating. CTRM didn't get the the hype and the push that uh, SNDL got. Uh, I'm still up a nice percentage on it because I got in somewhere around here at the 0 0.3 area, but. Um, but uh, it's kind of consolidating again. It had a nice pop. Uh, will we see a consolidation in a pop like we saw here? Let's hope. Uh, but this is the current situation in CTRM. By the way, they bought another boat, uh, just to update you. Uh, CBDL, I don't, uh, I don't know CB, C, C, B, D, L. Uh, you saw a lot of uh, stocks you guys ask me about and I'm trying to learn about uh, lots of stocks. Uh, but I'm getting like too, too brought out, and it's getting a little bit hard for me to, to um, you know, be on these stocks, right? And also have uh, good uh, data about them and do my due diligence, and not just to give you a, uh, you know, just a half, uh, a half. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say it, but you know, a half baked, a half baked uh, opinion. Inovu, Inovu uh, is kind of uh, it's kind of consolidating, guys. Uh, after we had that huge run up, right? Uh, there was a lot of hype with a few videos actually that talked about Inovu, and uh, since then it's uh, just been consolidating in this area. We're gonna have to wait to see if there's going to be a, um, um, if there's going to be a pop or uh, or not. I see there's some anger that we got away from AMC, so let's get back to AMC, guys, and then we'll we'll do a little bit AMC, and then we'll get back to the other things. Um, so I see now that it broke the 889 area. Let's see how it reacts. Is it going to be a, a fake out? Are we going to fake out and pull back, or is it uh, going to be a, a downtrend here to the 7.8 area? I'm hoping not. Uh, but we will have to see. Uh, there's currently, if we look at the MACD, it's kind of looking uh, downtrend, but we have here a recovery. It seemed that the three o'clock uh, boost didn't really happen, guys. So uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's, uh, should I buy AMC? It's a good question. Um, and uh, it's uh, ki kind of, um, 
I bought into AMC. I bought in for a few reasons. I bought in um, because I've been talking a lot about it and I felt that uh, I needed to some kind of uh, emotional connection to the stock just so I could feel, be more invested, right? Um, I don't really like to talk about stocks that I don't have a position in uh, because I feel that then I'm just like um, not really invested in it. Um, why Bura? What happened? <laughs> uh, so... Um, yeah, we talked about the SSR that it expires today, so we'll see tomorrow what happens uh, if the stock is going to go down. Uh, but um, what happened is I bought into AMC, and when I started doing more and more, it, uh, my tune kind of changed. And it's okay to change your tune, guys. You Sometimes people are Democrats, sometimes they're Republicans, right? <laughs> it's okay <laughs> to change your, your tune, uh, but... Um, uh, what happened is a few weeks ago someone asked me about AMC and I said listen I'm not going to the movie theater currently uh, but uh, but when it's when when would when it will recover right when movie theaters will open back I think people uh, and I saw this in Israel actually uh, when they started opening up the shopping malls people flooded to the shopping malls and then the the the, the virus spiked again and then we had to go back into lockdown. So people are really thirsty for entertainment, for shopping, for travel. So as soon as uh, the, the th situation starts getting be better, so I started thinking about it. As soon as the situation starts getting better, I think that this uh, that they're going to make a huge, huge, huge money. I think people are going to be going uh, back to the movie theaters in uh, full strength. And if they take advantage of it, if they are able to uh, management does a good job, then this stock can get back to the 20. Now I said in the video before, don't uh, think that you're going to make a thousand percent on uh, AMC. No, probably what's going to happen is it will get back to the 20 area and stay there for a while. I don't think it's going to shoot up to a hundred guys. Uh, and this is just my opinion. And this was just what I think. Um, so I'm going to be holding it uh, to the area of 20 and then I'll see I, if it will get to 20 I don't know but for now from now on uh, I'm going to be holding and if it dips then I'll uh, see if I can move some cash around and buy some more because that's the whole thing in investing right if you think that a stock is has potential has is going up and you look at the the pro, um, you know, the revenue and you look at everything else it's kind of hard with the revenue now because of the pandemic but if you look at everything else and you say okay I think that 20 is a reasonable and stock is currently dipped down to five I'm you be sure I'm going to be cost basing down when I had NNDM, they did stock offering, it went down, I bought some more. They did another stock offering, it went down, I bought some more. So uh, if you feel the uh, a company has uh, an uptrend and it's, it's going to be going up, there's a lot of uh, positive things about the stock, then go for it, uh, cost basis down and, uh, and get it. Get it and lower your cost basis. Um. I'm just reading the comments guys so that's why I was quiet uh, if you hear babies crying uh, it's uh, they're sleeping now so maybe they're going to cry <laughs> and you'll hear some babies crying as part of the show here uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, I don't know if it's just uh, um, the fact that I saw this this article and I want to talk to you guys about this says here why AMC Entertainment stock jumped 14% out of the gate today and if you look at this article it seems like right this is a good article right it's positive and I don't know why Motley Fool what what they have uh, against the AMC if it's just uh, you know something um, uh, they're being paid by the big banks I don't know uh, but this article was really like um, negative against the AMC and I know that you guys uh, a lot of you um when did i start youtube uh about two months ago i think at the end of november i posted my first video and uh and i went like full time from uh the empt the middle i almost uh, i almost talked uh, spoke hebrew for a second <laughs> 
if you guys want to hear a little bit Hebrew, let me know. Uh, so it's from the middle of December, I started going like full time-ish uh, because uh, the, they closed my department and they, they said you get December full pay and then January a little bit more. And then, uh, but, but by, that, by the end, so the middle of uh, December, I, they said to me, you can do whatever you want already. So that's when I went full time uh, YouTube. And uh, the last few weeks, I've been really pumping it up and ramping it up and doing a lot of videos. And I started doing it without editing, uh, which is really huge and, and really uh, helped the growth of the channel because I was able, it was, came out of necessity because where I am now in the lockdown, uh, the internet is really slow and the upload speed is really uh, slow. But we're like in a village, right? I live in a city normally and I have a fiber connection, one gigabyte connection. And here it's really, uh, really... How do you say diamond hands never fold in Hebrew? Okay, uh, so <laughs> AMC is AMC, but diamond hands, so a diamond is uh, in Hebrew, yahalom, that's the word for diamond. And then uh, hands is yadaim, uh, never fold, uh, so we'd say yadei yahalom leolam lo yitkaplu. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that uh, little Hebrew uh, uh, lesson. <laughs> Go full Hebrew. Y you know that a lot of uh, people here in Israel were asking um, that I open a, a channel in Hebrew, uh, but for now I'm just uh, focusing on the English channel and uh, see what's going to ha you know try to grow uh, I I the English channel. The Hebrew channel is nice, but. Uh, uh, but it's like capped because there's only like uh, 7 million people in Israel and um, out of the 7 million uh, I think 2 million are Arabs and then you have uh, uh, about a million and a half religious people so then you're left with like 3 million people half of those are kids so you have a million and a half people maybe that uh, would be interested in something like that so the pool is very small so uh so yeah, for now I'm not doing a Hebrew channel, but maybe in the future, I don't know. <laughs> if I get uh, tired of the English channel, no, <laughs> probably probably not. I'm sorry guys, I, I know that a lot of people wanted uh, that, but I guess they're not watching this live stream because they, they were asking because they re didn't under understand uh, English. So that was the main reason. They asked me to put subtitles, but that takes a long time because you have to do it by yourself or pay someone. So uh, for now, just English guys. So if we get back to the article, I don't know why they're so anti-AMC um, here. Um, and they're saying not to buy. And uh, wh why did I put this article up? Um, I just, I know that a lot of you guys are new uh, to trading and new to in general. And I don't want, uh, I'll, <laughs> let's make some money. Bona sekzat kesef. Money is kesef. So, uh that's it. No more uh, uh, Yiddish, a little bit, because my grandma used to speak uh, Yiddish, so I know a few words, but uh, that's it. Uh, so, um, so, so why I just want? Because I know from one hand, if you're in, in if you're in a, Re a Reddit, right? Because uh, we have here the, right? We have here the Telegram of uh, Wall Street bets. There's 121,000 people, and you know people are. Uh, uh, talking what they're going to be attacking and what's happening and what's going on and uh, and uh, you know uh, they're positive but it's getting a little bit you see SPC people are getting a little bit all over the place right and that's one of my things that uh, that I'm kind of uh, weary about the whole movement uh, but hopefully they can we can stay um, focused right and uh, the article okay I keep getting away from it I want you guys to know that um, People are going to attack, and you sh like, you listen to me, but um, you should also listen to other people. Uh, I, there's a YouTuber called Trade Trades. He's blown up uh, crazy, right? He's been giving some great, great uh, analysis and things that he's been talking about. Um, I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to him. He's just blown up. He went from like 10,000 subscribers to 50,000 subscribers, and... Um, 
is doing really amazing. Uh, you should be listening to the other side as well. So don't be listening to only people uh, that are uh, positive about AMC, right? It's good to also listen to the negative side so you know what's going on because sometimes uh, the positive people will only be telling you this is going up, this is going to, to the moon and sometimes I might be a little bit uh, um, in that category, right? But it's mostly because I want you guys to, to come to the, <laughs> to the videos so that's a little trade secret but everybody does it right it's part of youtube and part of uh, getting people to, too uh, hyped up and too in the in the euphoria and just uh, try to also see the downside of things as well when you're trading so that's uh, like a trading uh, secret uh, but it's not secret you should always when you're thinking about investing in a stock try to find always a negative article or something bad about the stock uh, that might uh, change your mind and you may think maybe I don't want to get into that stack. So uh, we currently broke the 889 uh, and we're consolidating right under it. Um, I hope that we can get back over the 889 area. Um, I'm not saying that I'm being fake. I'm saying that this is part of YouTube, right? Uh, if I put out a bad thumbnail and I say, you can watch this video if you want and if you don't want don't watch the video right nobody's gonna click on the video and I'm gonna have a hundred uh, subscribers right um, <laughs> so um, this is just what I've learned right I've been two months in YouTube and I've learned that if you uh, just uh, if you're not aggressive if you're not uh, um, telling people to click on the videos, they're not going to click on the videos. There's so much competition. There's so many people out there. There's a, uh, if you don't uh, try to stand out and try to, you know, get yourself out there, someone's going to click on the other video that says the to the moon. So if you don't write to the moon, someone else is going to write to the moon. Um, so it's best to what you're talking about in the videos uh, will be the, the, the main thing because uh, the thumbnail is just like the the taster, right? Um, and a lot of people might feel, uh, 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 so, you know, have feelings about it, but this is just what I've learned because in the beginning I was trying to be all nice and I can be nice in the videos, but if you're nice in the thumbnails, then you'll stay with uh, 1,000 subscribers and uh, that's not the situation that I wanted to. I wanted to help as many people as I can. So if I have to sometimes write to the moon, then I'm going to write to the moon. Will it hit 20 by the end of March? Uh, it all depends, and this is a big, what happens in the United States of America. Um, so um, if United States of America uh, and Joe Biden uh, comes out and says that uh, we're going to vaccinate as many people as we can, and by the end of uh, April, I want 60-70% of everybody that wants to, uh, to be vaccinated. Then you're going to have a situation where the movie theaters, the sporting events, um, the schools, the jobs, the, the, the malls are going to be opening up. And that will really, really affect the stock. If that starts happening, you're going to see a huge jump in the stock and I can see us getting to 20, right? If not, right then uh, if uh, people are not willing to get the vaccination and there's a lot of people anti-vaccinations and uh, and all that so maybe it will happen by the summer by the end of the year it could take a while but that all depends on the vaccinations right this is a big catalyst for this company and this is a big uh, catalyst uh, for the economy in general i i think just not just the the movie theaters, not, not just AMC. Here in Israel, uh, people that have uh, stores, the malls, uh, people that the wedding, you know, wedding people, I mean, everybody's dying. The businesses are dying. The economy is dying. Um, so this is why in Israel, people are really up to getting the vaccinations because uh, they just want to get back to normalization. They don't, they don't just want to get back to their life. So, um, so this is the situation and we're having a nice run here guys. Let's see if we can break back to the 889. Let me take a drink of my uh, my pomegranate juice.
Yeah, I think a lot of people got into the the stock right because of the hype, um, and and a lot of them are going to have to hold or sell out for a loss. Um, and this is this is up to you. Um, if it doesn't, it, it's going to be very volatile for the next week or two, just because of the SSR rule, right? It's going to be up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, and uh, and until this kind of dies out, I think it'll be very vo volatile. Um, and this is very scary for someone that's just starting out, or this is their first uh, first trade, or they just you know signed up for the brokerage. Uh, I know that um, you can see just from the YouTube searches that like AMC is uh, number one or number two on the searches. It's like it's crazy, right? Um, usually the first uh, phrases are stocks, stock live, stock this. So uh, you know that a lot of people are looking at AMC and you can see by how these videos have been blowing up for me and for other YouTubers. You guys are very interested in AMC and um, and, and you know uh, uh, the news is we're talking about the news is the newscasts were talking about it. Everybody was talking about it. I told I told in one of the videos I was listening to a, the Ringer a podcast about basketball. I was taking a walk. <laughs> uh, this is what you're allowed to do on lockdown: take walks. And um, and uh, and they were talking about uh, AMC and GME on the you know the opening of the podcast. So uh, people that. Uh, People that haven't been in, in the stock market ever in their life are now in AMC and GME and they're going to get freaked and there's going to be people that sell out. There's going to be a, a lot of fluctuation. And uh, if you're an investor, if uh, you uh, didn't go in with too large amount of your portfolio, like I always preach, guys, uh, then it shouldn't be a problem if you're okay with, uh, uh, if you're at uh, a loss, you can wait a little bit. Uh, you can cost basis down, right? If you have cash, if you're not in with the too big of a position already, uh, if you're with a profit and you uh, um, want to hold the line, then hold the line. If you if you you need this money uh, for I don't know education or something else, and you feel that you have to sell out and this is your only option, then I won't say don't sell out. I'll say. Hold the line, but if it's uh, life, uh, life or death, or life changing for you, then then do whatever you want. But uh, uh, I feel that I'm going to hold and uh, hold for a while, especially uh, until the pandemic ends. Um, so this is this is just me. And if it goes down, you you bet I'll be I'll be buying up, buying up some shares, taking advantage of the dip. So. Uh, that's just me. We currently broke the 889 while, uh, while I was uh, schmoozing, <laughs> right? Um, and uh, you can see here that uh, this is uh, the volume is, is rising, right? Let's see. Uh, we have now 25 minutes left uh, for trading. We saw here, if we go back, Uh, yeah, it's it's really not easy not to sell out if you especially uh, people that are up a thousand percent, let's say, right? Um, if you're up a thousand percent and uh, and this is like you don't know a hundred thousand uh, dollars profit, I don't know for some people, or that guy in uh, GameStop that he was had like had uh, fifty five million dollars, something like that. You know the crazy story about the guy, the insurance guy that had. Uh, Fifty-five million dollars uh, from fifty thousand dollars. So now I think that GME went down from what this was numbers when it was on three hundred. So now he has, uh, if it's at a hundred, so it went down uh, uh, to a third. So now he has like uh, fifteen or twenty million, something like that. So I mean, he lost thirty million dollars in a few days. He lost. He didn't lose anything yet because uh, he didn't sell out yet. Uh, but he had he has options till April, I think, and stock in GME. So basically, his uh, net worth went down. If he would have sold at uh, at the top, uh, he would have like fifty five million dollars. But uh, we can't uh, we can't um, we can't sell at the top every time. It's very rarely uh, that we're able to sell out at the exact peak, right? When the stock hits the high, and then we sell out, and then we go out. Uh, but we can try to to find uh, the day that the, that the trend is changing, 
and on that day uh, try to sell out or maybe take profits uh, leave uh, the initial investment that's what I was doing a lot within the penny stock challenge when I saw that I got up 100 120 130 percent 150 percent I was like okay I'm going to take my profit it's really nice profit and then uh, we'll leave the initial investment and if it goes up a thousand percent then uh, I did I rode the thousand percent and I made amazing uh, gains but at least I have the profit uh, that I took already on the side so it's it's really hard um, if you're up uh, like a thousand percent some of those people on GameStop I don't know how they're holding um, it's really really hard but uh, we don't know if they're really holding I mean it might be that they a lot of the people on Wall Street bets a forum already read it right already sold out and they're just uh, you know saying that they're holding we don't know we don't know what people are actually doing so it's it's kind of hard um, do you guys want uh, to talk about anything else because uh, there's another 20 minutes uh, so let me know if there's something else you want to take a look at uh, just before we we finish um, I don't think there's going to be a squeeze uh, anymore um, because uh, because I think most of the squeeze was already squeezing. <laughs> we looked at the days to cover, right? Um, and uh, for for AMC, and it's not that large, so it means the potential for a squeeze currently isn't that big. Uh, we'd need the 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 short the shorts to be a lot larger and the price to be a lot lower for a squeeze to happen so i don't think that a squeeze is going to happen a hundred percent 150 percent squeeze is going to happen uh but um we might go up a little bit so we have here sense let's do sense sense is really tricky guys see already two people wrote sense so we'll do sense sense is really tricky uh one of the people in the patreon in the discord has been asking me about sense as well um there was a lot of uh, talk, right, that SENS was going to also be squeezed. There's a lot of shorts on it and it has a potential and, uh, you know, that uh, we're going to the moon. And the fact is that this stock, until they come out with the, until they get the FDA uh, approval, right, for the 180 day uh, device. I forgot the name of the device uh, right now. Um, the, the stock is going to consolidate and hopefully soon uh, we'll get the FDA approved uh, approval it was pushed uh, because of a priority uh, for uh, for for uh, um, pandemic related um, drugs right but as soon as they get uh, approval I think this stock can uh, really fly and because of the short amount right there will be a huge squeeze in sense as soon as they get uh, uh approval uh it will squeeze it will squeeze and it will squeeze and it could go up 100 percent, 150 percent in one day just from the from the news about the fda approval so i'm i'm waiting on sense and uh, sense is one of the penny stocks that i may hold uh for a long time just because of the product and the personal connection i have with sense and diabetes uh, but that's just me um, so you know you guys do your own and if you think that it's a bad I know someone just uh, a bad mouth uh, sense so I mean whatever guys uh, I only give you my opinion right um, it's think or swim have you people have asked a few times uh, it's think or swim um, so let's continue um zom stock again i said it's been moving up um i talked about selling out of zom uh, a while back a few days ago and um and i was thinking about maybe moving out of zom it made a, like a 25 percent uh, rise since then uh, so i'm currently holding um uh, still i talked about maybe switching it up but actually because i've been uh setting up the patreon and uh um, and doing a lot of things so i haven't really um play i haven't uh switched out my penny stock challenge that much um so i'll update that on sunday uh but uh, i'm still in zam i haven't found a, another stock that i want to uh change in, instead uh, just zam i said that uh, because of the uh, 
um, the true form are coming out at late March. I don't think that this stock is going to move so much until uh, the end of February and maybe that um, I could find a better um, option for the penny stock challenge just because the penny stock challenge is uh, time, time uh, sensitive, right? Um, so if I have to wait another month or two and Zama is just moving sideways, so I'm, I'm losing an opportunity uh, to make money somewhere else. But on the flip side, I could lose money also. So it's like uh, you have to weigh the, the risk to the profitability. So uh, we'll see. Currently, I'm still holding Zam and it's up today another 5.4%. So it's very nice. Um, GME is, uh, I don't think it's, again, I don't think that will get squeezed again. Um, look at this, uh, look at this uh, graph. <laughs> it looks like a monster, right? Here's the eyes and this is the nose and this is the face. It looks like a, like a lion or something, right? <laughs> it's uh, funny. You know, MVIS, I see a lot of you guys are uh, talking about MVIS. I want to make a, a video, a dedicated video about MVIS, so I'm not going to talk about it now. So wait for the video. I think later, later in the night, I'm going to um, contract is almost up. This is what, uh, okay, guys. So maybe we'll have another squeeze. I don't know. Um, but I, I just looking at the numbers, I don't think it's going to jump the way it did uh, previously, but it could be. Uh, maybe if this is correct and the contract is almost up. I don't know what contract he's talking about. Uh, is he talking about uh, option contracts? I don't know. Uh, just from the contract. Uh, SNDL we talked about uh, in the beginning, but uh, for whoever jumped in in the middle. So uh, let's talk about SNDL again. And then we'll go back to AMC for the last 15 minutes. So SNDL went up again another 17% today. Uh, Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I f the, the whole sector is doing amazing. Uh, Tilray is also up today. Uh, a friend of mine asked me uh, for some help like uh, a few weeks ago. Um, he wanted to start a portfolio. And I said, listen, you have to have uh, one of these guys from the sector. And we decided on Tilray because I told him that Tilray uh, was the going to be the biggest biggest one uh, after the um, merger with Etheria and I think for the long run it would be the best uh, best one out of the bunch for him because he was looking for a, a long-term uh, portfolio investment and since he got in it's up like hundred and twenty percent something like that so it's gone up really amazing SNDL has gone up a, a lot uh, in the past uh, just few days so for a long time, SNDL wasn't moving with the the rest of the. Ah, he uh, that's Elad. He just uh, I just mentioned him, and now he's in the chat. He's watching the live stream. Hi, Elad. <laughs> You're now famous, Elad. Um, <laughs> so uh, so uh, SNDL. Uh, now I lost my train of thought. Yeah. So SNDL um, has gone also uh, more than 100%, right? Because it was at 0 0.5 and now it's over $1. Um, and um, and so this made also a really, really nice run, but it didn't go up with the rest of them. Uh, it's just been, it's been going up because of the hype. And uh, I guess they're, uh, that their management is really happy now, but let's see if they can get the 10 days. We talked about this before in the opening of the live stream. Let's say if we can get uh, to the 10 day mark, if that happens, uh, there's going to be, it's going to be huge for the company. Cause this was like the main, um, main bad thing about the company, not the main bad thing, but like this was the major thing that was like a, a dark cloud over the company was this, um, compliance issue and the, they were hoping and hoping and hoping they still have time but if they can get that off the table uh, so that will be really really uh, good for them uh, BNGO uh, BNGO BNGO is looking really good uh, I talked about it last night it's down a little bit today but 
Uh, I talked about in the video last night, the fact that they have that breakthrough with the cancer uh, uh, that could be huge. And this company is very interesting. Um, it keeps coming out more and more good data, more and more good things, but it's kind of like uh, you can see it's consolidating to the side and this is what happens. Uh, uh, guys, so we don't we sometimes uh, can lose a little bit of our patience after such a huge run-up We get used to huge huge gains and then it starts moving sideways and sometimes we lose our patience We sell out and then it pops it goes up a hundred percent. So Sometimes we need to have a little bit of patience um, With with specific stocks that we think that they're really good and they have a really good catalyst um Let's get back to AMC for the for the close, right, guys? Because um, this was the main thing that I wanted to talk about today. Um, let me just uh, get a quick drink of uh, pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice. I'm not uh, sponsoring the pomegranate juice or nothing. <laughs> just uh, just what I have. Uh, last live stream that I did, uh, someone asked me. I had the coffee. And it says like this is a special uh, cup that so you don't feel the heat, right? And it says on it cafe, which is a coffee in Hebrew. So someone asked me last time, and uh, so this is the answer for uh, BNGO is down seventeen percent. No, it's down uh, one one percent, one point seven percent. So I don't know, but AMC. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by uh, Jumex. <laughs> Can Jumex send me some money, <laughs> please? <laughs> I get uh, free pomegranate juice and uh, guava, guava juice. There's been a lot of questions, guys, uh, about AMC and the price. And uh, just before that, uh, we talked about it in the beginning, but the Patreon, because we haven't talked about it uh, for a while. <laughs> and this is my uh, my my chance, because I don't want to push it a lot in the videos. Um, I just talk about it. I talked about it the first video, and I showed it uh, when it came out. And since then, I've just been talking about it, but I haven't been showing it. So. When I go live, I can uh, feel a little bit more comfortable talking about it, I guess. Um, so, like I said, I started the Patreon a few days ago on the first of the month because I wanted you guys to get the full month. I could have started it uh, before, but I felt I don't want to charge people for like two days or three days or something like that. Um, so, I open it on the first of February. So, whoever would go on the first of February would get the full month. And uh, we have here three tiers. Uh, maybe in the future I'll do some more tiers, but just uh, for, from you know uh, life, I have three kids. You know, I need to spend some time with them. And uh, I I just felt that currently uh, three is enough uh, uh, for me, right? Uh, maybe in the future we'll give some more things and more tiers. Uh, but but so we have here the supporter, and I know that uh, people uh, not all people want the Discord maybe, and they want uh, just to support the channel. They don't have time to be in a Discord server. Or they they it's in English or maybe they speak a different language and they don't uh, really want to be on a Discord channel. Uh, so there's uh, the five dollar uh, option uh, to help improve my setup in my hat collection, <laughs> and. Um, and that's the the like the donate I guess, but I I did it as a supporter because I don't want to feel like uh, uh, you have to do it like um you know a donation. It's more like a support. Uh, so um, you can you don't have to do this, guys. You don't have to give to you know sign up for the Patreon. You can just continue to watching uh, the videos and um, and and supporting that way, right? I make a little money from the ads anyway. I I showed you in the video. Uh, um, yesterday how much I made the first month on YouTube so that was uh, crazy and amazing I didn't expect to make almost four thousand dollars from YouTube in the first month that it was monetized so I mean that helps because I'm uh, this is my now my profession I guess uh, so um, you have also the YouTube revenue uh, so if you want just to watch the videos and support that way that's great as well uh, so and then we have here the 10 which is you get um, access to the Patreon, uh, to the Discord. Uh, we have already like 25 people, I think, and it's already been very pretty active. Uh, we're building it up and um, 
and uh, it's my first time being an admin of uh, Discord, so I need you guys help and uh, help me out. Tell me what you guys need and uh, what you guys want, and may, we'll open more things and do more things. So, uh, so that's going to be to be great, and hopefully uh, we can make a lot of money from this Discord. And uh, you guys will hopefully in in minutes uh, in one trade uh, pay for the whole year of uh, Patreon or like 10 years, I don't know. Uh, so that will be great. I'll be really happy if that happens. And then we have the 25, it's the VIP. And with the VIP, you get a, a live stream with me once a month, uh, so like this, but just for the VIP. So you can ask uh, specific questions and more intimate and, uh, and not like here where we have a lot of people and a lot of questions there, it will be a, a more intimate and I'll try to answer and I'll, I won't try I will answer every single question you guys have on that uh, live because uh, if you pay uh, so you have to get uh, the reward right the reward or the I don't know uh, enough with enough with the patreon <laughs> uh, back to back to the AMC um, <laughs> so uh, we're currently consolidating on this level guys this is very interesting uh you see how strong this area is just because when we broke here we broke down but it, it was able to recover um at the 8.5 area but you see how we're consolidating up and down up and down on this area it's very very interesting um and the volume isn't that isn't that big you see here when people came back from lunch the volume picked up uh, but now it's just like really, really gone down. I don't know. Uh, uh, let's see what's going on in GME. Is this like something in the total market? Is it just AMC? What's going on here? So also in GME, the the um, the volume is pretty low. Uh, GME also got back to 90 area. It seems that everybody everybody is going down. Let's see Nokia. Yeah, also. Ah, no, Nokia, no. Nokia is barcoding. <laughs> This is very interesting, guys. If you don't know what barcoding is, if you've never seen it, it's when uh, algos get a hold of the stock and start trading up and down, up and down, and they they make money like this. And then you'll see it happens usually with small cap companies. You won't see Apple doing this, uh, but um, when they say that when you um, when you see this, to stay away. And I found that this is not the case. So I don't know. Uh, Naked also did that. If we look at Naked, uh, people were telling me about this in the in the Discord. You see, it was uh, barcoding, 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 and then it popped. So I don't know. Uh, um, ah, the Discord link. Let me send it. Yeah, sure. Um, copy paste. Um, I posted and I. But I paste it in every video as well and in the comment section usually uh, just if you guys are interested yeah why isn't it working so it's stuck but uh, probably hopefully it will get uh, sent um, and if not you can just go to one of my previous videos and uh, and it's there in the description and also in the pinned comment I don't know why it's not uh, ah here okay it sent um, There's four minutes left. Let's quickly, someone mentioned CTRM. Is it jumping? Uh, no, it's not jumping, but it's, uh, they said that it's blowing up. So I thought maybe <laughs> it will blow up. They said, okay. Yes, maybe it will. I have, uh, I have like 11,000 shares in the CTRM. So if it blows up, I'll be very happy. And, uh, and, um, and I'll be happy and I'll, be closer to finishing the penny stock challenge yeah yeah the, this now from now on AMC to the close we have four more minutes guys and you see how uh, it's it's just sitting on the 889 you see how powerful of an area this is and how uh, the everybody I don't know if everybody uses the Fibonacci but I, what happened is I was watching a video about the Fibonacci about uh, around a year ago and in that video, the person said that um, a lot of the financial, big financial bodies uh, use the Fibonacci retracements and, uh, 
and uh, as uh, support and resistant areas and that uh, it was very good to use them as well. So I started to use them and uh, and there was another lady that I was following uh, that she was doing options, that she was like getting amazing results using the retracements. So I just started uh, to using them also and they, it looks like they work uh, not all the time, but a lot of the time uh, they work. So. Um, this is what I use now, and uh, and uh, so it, it, it works amazingly. It, so a lot of the times when it works, uh, and, and it works as resistance and support, I'm like in awe, so I don't know. Um, it's not, it's not uh, science, right, because it's something that I pull, but I'm guessing that uh, the people pull it the same, so... Uh, <laughs> I was just reading the comments, sorry for the quietness. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, 15, 14% guys, it looks like it's gonna close. We have another two minutes. Um, listen guys, 14%, if you have a, a normal stock and you have 14% up in the day, uh, so you're grateful, right? I mean, the S&P 500 does 10% over the year um, on average, right? Because yesterday we went down 50%, so people were thinking that today we'd go up 50%. Um, I, I didn't think it was going to go up 50%. I said uh, in the video this morning or last night, I think, that from now on, I think that the gains are going to be smaller and the drops are going to be smaller. So uh, we'll see what's going to happen um, going forward. Uh, but remember that tomorrow the SSR rule is, is uh, not on. So tomorrow the shorts can come back and play. Uh, so if there will be no buying, uh, then we we'll might have, uh, if there's not huge buying, then we might see a drop tomorrow. We could go back to the same price we had yesterday, even lower. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not uh, a prophet, even though I live in the land of the prophets. All I can try to do is look at the technical indicators, look at the rules, look at what's been happening lately, look at the, what happened every day. We had an up and then a down and an up and then a down. And hopefully we can get the up days to be uh, larger than the down days. Uh, but like I said before in the stream, don't get freaked out if the stock goes down a little bit. Um, this could happen uh, and uh, it's, it's an opportunity to uh, lower your cost basis if you got in at a high price. Let's say it might go down to $5 in the next few days. Maybe you wanna buy some more at $5 if you think that this has potential to get to 20. I'm not a profit again, so I don't know. People were asking here, how long till it gets to 15? How long till it gets to 20? I can just say and, and be like, it's gonna be 20 by the end of March, but I don't know. I mean, we, there's so many things that can happen. All we can do is look at the technical indicators, look at our previous highs that were around 20 and the market finished, uh, closed currently at 13.43. Uh, 13 uh, right at the line, right? So that's that's crazy. We finished right at the line at 8.9. Seven, what's the value of the, the line? 8.9, so just above the line, wow. So that's, oh, so it, no, the line is at 887, I think. So above the line, uh, <laughs> the volume, yeah, the volume was really low, uh, but this is because uh, people are not that much buying in and because they couldn't short today and, uh, and just in general, uh, the volume was crazy on those days. Like I said, everybody was uh, looking at AMC and everybody was, uh, you know, uh, people from the street, right? Like I call it. Uh, see this day where there's huge volume and today there was really low volume. Um, so we'll have to see what's going to happen. And uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll have a better day. I'm going to make a video later uh, about the day and what happened and what's going to happen uh uh, going further, going uh, in the next few days. So make sure to watch that video. <laughs> It'll be up in a few hours. I need to take a, a break and maybe talk about something else a little bit. I'll see. Um, but I'm gonna take a break. Uh, maybe eat something, and uh, we'll be we'll be back here uh, with a video. Uh, just recapping the day and looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I think uh, my voice is getting a little bit tired. I'm not used to talking for an hour and a half. Uh, I need to get better an hour and a half straight. I need to get better at that. I've seen some guys that are going like 
three, four hours or eight hours. Uh, I don't know how they do it. I can't really get on in the morning at 4.30 because my kids are here. And uh, if I do it live, then they're just going to run here and be jumping on me and I can't do anything. Uh, so this is why I'll be able most of the time to come at the end of the day if, uh, if we want. Um, so that's that's the situation. Uh, but I've seen like uh, trade trades. He's he's going crazy. He's uh, <laughs> up in the morning, up at night, up in three in the morning and then four in the morning. And uh, <laughs> so it's kind of how he's 23 years old. I am 34 with uh, three kids under five. So it's kind of hard for me to, to be doing that. But I'm trying to do as much as I can. So uh, that will be me signing off uh, for this live stream and I'll be back uh, later. So watch out for the videos. So bye guys. Oh, and let's make some money. And, and in Hebrew, right? Because you liked it before. Bona sexat kesef.